D-Pin System Settings is where you can control almost all aspects of the D-Pin desktop environment. User Info, Appearance, and System Info can all be found here. Let's change some appearance settings and customize our desktop to our liking. I like dark themes so first let's change it to a dark theme. Next we can change color accents, icons and mouse cursors. Right clicking on the desktop will open more options where you can change wallpapers to give your desktop a desired look and feel. The Deepin Package Manager. Here we can install packages. Almost all distros come with the Firefox web browser. It's one of the most used in the Linux community. The Deepin web browser appears to be a clone of Chromium or some other Chrome-based web browser. The D-Pin Image Viewer, simply named Album, is a lightweight image viewer. The D-Pin Music Player, simply named Music, is also a lightweight music player. The D-Pin Calendar is a calendar where you can set events and be notified by date and time. And it's simply named Calendar. The icon on your lower left of the panel is your menu icon. Here you can view all of your distro's applications.
Another favorite web browser of the Linux community is the Chromium web browser. Audacity is a free, easy-to-use, multi-track audio editor and recorder. Simply named Movie is DeepIn's video player and manager. GIMP is what most call the alternative to Photoshop. GIMP is a free and open source raster graphics editor used for image manipulation and image editing, freeform drawing, transcoding between different image file formats, and more specialized tasks. LeafPad is a free and lightweight text editor used in a wide range of Linux distros. The deep in terminal, simply named terminal. HTOP, a cross-platform interactive process viewer. It is a text mode application for console or X terminals to view running resources. Synaptic is a lightweight graphical interface front-end to app package management system used in Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and many other Debian Ubuntu-based distributions. Basically, everything that you can do using the app get commands in the terminal can be achieved with Synaptic. Thanks for watching this overview of XTix Linux 22.12. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content. See you on the next one.